The Loud is supposed to be here to uh, present about some updates and some information on the project that we are working on, uh, which we'd like to refer to as uh, 2122 and uh, the development of it. And whatever that turns out to be, that's what it's going to be, all right? So we're going to keep it positive about this discussion, all right? So we know there's a few different things going on, but we know that mathematics is our guideline. That's from one to nine. So it's going to go from one to nine. We're going to see, all right? So there's no need to take, like, sides or these, this one's right, that one. We're not on that. Let's just take it to the man. We're in season. We say we got the political people. That's the season. You know, we have so many uh, talented gods and earths, you know, and their children that is amongst that can add on to any project that we want to do. And why I say that and why I'm beginning with that about nation business, and please, your outside conversations or your reading of people that you love, can you do that outside, please? All right, so as I say, it's the mindset, all right, because you have to be present in order to get the present, all right? You have to be present in order to get the present, okay? So we are on a campaign of renewing our history and coming together in a unified manner to get things done. All right, so that's, that's the mindset that we are appealing to nation citizens, members, however you like to be referred to, about this. This is a project dealing with all of us, all right? And we want to keep it that way. So without further ado, I'm going to give you a little update. Uh, do you have anything to tell me? No. Okay. Well, we, we developed what's known as a fact. Uh, it's called a FAQ, and I'm sure some of y'all are familiar with that. That's just like some facts, okay? And so you have these facts, so in that way, you have a baseline and a general idea, all right, of what's going on, all right? Now, I'm going to take one little step back. And one little step back is this, all right, I'm Tamari, Bilal is involved, Beloved is involved, Hashim is involved, Black Justice is involved, if y'all know those names, all right? That's five of us that got together and we just had a common idea about, hey, we see 21, 22, let's see what we could do, all right? This is an add-on to what had already been developed <coughs> over the past 10, 15 years of brothers working on this, yet, I want everyone to be clear. We ain't dealing with the here and now. We spent a lot of time, you know, uh, putting our credibility in front of y'all regarding our brothers, regarding our intentions of dealing with something as large as this because we talking about for generations to come, all right? Allah did the thing, but well, he did it on his own. All right, now we have an opportunity to work collectively and also get some serious results for generations to come. All right, because what was done back in the 60s, that was him. He ain't have nobody going to Gracie Mansion and talking to these people and all. He did that on his own. And even some of us, and I've been around since the 70s, right, was anti-politics. And the man never wasn't that. <coughs> You know, so we have to be mindful sometimes when we're, you know, energized and motivated and we be kicking it about stuff and we need to take a step back and see if that's really in line with the man's teachings, you know, and check yourself and don't be so far ahead or feel like you are so much of a big eye that you can't check with somebody that might have been here before you, even at your age, whatever that it may be. May be. Because when I see the audience here, except for a sprinkling, it's a mature audience, right? Mm. Okay, and I'm in that, that crowd as well, all right? And just one more thing before I get to the nation business. Being in my equality ciphers, I know that I'm vibrant, 
I'm energized. I work with young people every day. And I'm not on no pills and all that other kind of <laughs> diabetes, high bloody, none, none of that. All right? And that's rooted in this teachings from very early on. You know, whether whatever worlds, you know, and whatever was happening, I know about it and was doing it pretty much. All right? So, so this ain't no holy man from Massachusetts before you here. Mm. You understand? Though, I want y'all to be clear. The 60s wasn't kind to a lot of our brothers. Mm -hmm. All right? And what I mean by that is they left here on some messed up terms, health issues, in many instances, preventable diseases. Mm -hmm. All right? So me, in them degrees now, I'm about the business of showing the gods, and, you know, because it's a man conversation, not to exclude the woman, but I'm talking to the men. You know, and the woman is an excellent caretaker, so people need to partner up. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> help. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's another conversation, though. All right. So, as I'm saying, that as men, we want to show an example of good health and what it looks like to be vibrant in your 60s, not with a bag, not with pills, right. not running back and forth, not with canes and all these other, and these are things that we may have went through in our life journey, all right? Though I'm saying we have received the information, we have received the template on what to do and what not to do. You know, people scream about 85 and this and that and that, and then they eat like people, people that's, that's supposed to be 85, they eat better than them. Mm. And a lot of this stuff, this disease stuff is related to diet, y'all. Right. So I don't want to go too far because we can have a whole parliament about that. With screenings and this and then the, all these gods and earth that know all about this healthful living and all that. We need to integrate, just like I said earlier, unify about these things to keep one another living, keep one another healthy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, obesity and all the, the, the Negro problems. Is at our doorstep. We're supposed to clean that up. So, because we're talking about fear in somebody, big man and all that. Y'all know them lessons, right? Okay, right? <laughs> right? Okay, so, therefore, when you move a certain way, low key, you're showing fear. If you're not dominating, they lying and you ain't talking, nah, you in fear. Oh, well, damn, I, I don't really, I tried to get my credit right, but, ah. Uh, but we need to do that to move forward with certain things. Now, so, here we go. All right? The fact, the FAQs, let's deal with the facts. So it's the five brothers that have reached out to the nation. So others are adding on as I speak. All right, so don't take the impression that it's only five brothers and they ain't talking to nobody and they making all the decisions and they talking to these people in government and they don't talk to nobody about who they going to see and all of these things. We're not on that like that, okay? Just bear with me a second and I know for the interest of time, I gotta move it along, okay? But uh, it's important, man, that we begin to have this conversation about how we could work together regardless of our past histories, you know? Uh, we have to get the sisters more involved in terms of they involve same questions that God mentioned about an all-God parliament, right? Uh, you know, so my thing was, <laughs> and Hashim got on me about this, but I say, well, you know, if we do and do it all, God, then let the sisters go meet somewhere else and, and the, the same stuff that we talk about, let them talk about. And then we come back together and see what they said and see what we said, and then let's go eat. <laughs> right? Uh, at some point, and, and I know some of y'all might like, huh? But at some point, as I'm just trying to look for this here, what the law sent me. You got on your phone, uh, Hashi? Give me just one second, y'all. Uh, yesterday. So what I was saying is that we are in a wisdom knowledge century 
That's the true report of one. So everything that we're seeing in this day and time, we're gonna have to reverse it. Everything that's supposed to be bad is good, and everything that's good is, is they saying is bad. So if we know that the wisdom now of the century is the unlike man, then we understand that we need to reverse that polarity. So in this day and time of what's going on in America, society of men, group of men, that's dealing with two, six, and make eight, eight, eighth degree, right? Women are deeply involved in operations of things because of their skill set. We can't turn a blind eye on that. All right? And I know that there are certain things that was done in the past, and that's the way Allah wanted it. And he also wanted people to let, let the sisters wear bathing suits, but then people started acting up about how much skin was going to be shown, and he cut it off. Mm. So right there, that's showing you that he had the vision. He knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? It's just the people are like Shasha used to say to us all the time. He said, Allah used to say, y'all, pure D savage. <laughs> That's what Shasha used to tell us all the time. Because they was growing. So we are growing. So we don't have to feel like we've got an identity crisis about because we let the sisters get up and give input about certain things that they know about. I'm not talking about how to run your household. Talking about how they run theirs mm. that's successful. You know, and we have to give that respect. And if you're not comfortable with that because that's who you sleep with, then don't let them participate. Mm. It's okay. But if you are, then let it be. Because they tried that over there in one of them other little countries, right? And then they say, well, if you don't wear the head wrap and whatnot, you can't come to work. Well, they didn't come to work, and then there was no operations. Mm. The country couldn't work. So let us not, you know, be, uh, how you say, not aware of current events. If Mega did this.